Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. We can also export our image into what's called an offline bundle. And we can use that offline bundle with vSphere Update Manager for use with things like uh, patch baselines. We can also uh, download the zip file to an ESXi host or a data store and use the ESX CLI software VIB command so we can import VIBs onto our ESXi system. And we can also use it so that we can connect to that image and work on it later on. Because right now, if I closed out of this Power CLI session, my sample profile that I created and have been working with would be lost. So if I want to continue to work with this, I need to export it to an offline bundle and then I can add it as a software depot when I'm ready to work with it again. So if I want to export it, I'm going to use a similar command as I did when I export it to an ISO. So export dash ESX image profile, image profile, I want to export sample profile. And then I'm going to use the minus export to bundle option and I could specify the path now or I can use the minus file path option and specify the path where I want to put this zip file so I got a folder here called ESX offline that I'm gonna put it in so I'll go ahead and paste that path in there and I want to call it maybe uh, my underscore image dot zip so I'll go ahead and hit enter Okay, the offline bundle is created. There it is. So now let's say I close out of this Power CLI session here. Open it back up. And I run the get dash ESX image profile commandlet. You can see there are none. That's because we don't have any software depots or we aren't connected to any. So if I add that offline zip file that we just created as a software depot, so I'll run the add-esx software depot space minus depot URL a space and then the path to our zip file. And go ahead and paste that path in. Hit enter. You can see we now have a Depot, hit enter to get ESX image profile, and there's our sample profile. So now we can work with it, maybe add vi VIBs to it, remove VIBs, whatever we want.